Hi, y'all. I decided I want to do a video. I have not a clue what I should do. Hang on. I got to take my pills first. When you're old, you got to take your pills. See, you have pills. Well, we'll have Now, look at my new brush. My daughter bought me this new brush. Look at it. It's, you know, it's like concave. She got it from the Amazon. She bought it for herself, and then she didn't like it, and she goes, should I send it back, or do you want it? And I love it, because most, most brushes are convex. You know, they go out like this. This one goes like this, concave, which is so cool because it matches the shape of one's head. Most people's head is round. So then you need a, so then I love this brush. I love this brush. It is just the greatest brush ever, as you can see. And it fits around your round head. Do y'all have one? Well, that's not what this movie's about. I want to show you, though, what I've been doing. Some of you know what I've been doing. Because I started this thing like 100 years ago. And I've been stitching on it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn you down to the showroom floor. And you will be able to see what I'm doing. Hang on to your britches right here. i got to turn this camera. All right, this is, wait a minute, let me see if I can um, do this remote, remote control. There, that's right. Okay, now, this, this, this is what I've done. I've been doing this, like, super long snippet roll. This here roll is long. It is Where'd my little piece of paper go? Well, I'll be darned. Maybe I threw it away. Hang on a minute. I wrote the numbers down. You lay right there for a minute, my little girl. Well, I don't know. I guess I threw it away. Okay. You go right back over here, Priscilla. Okay, now, but anyway, this thing here, let me see. This is added up in your head. Three yard, three yards plus twenty-two inches. So thirty-six plus thirty-six plus thirty-six plus twenty-two. I had it wrote down on a little piece of paper. I don't know what to do with it. But anyway, yeah. Okay. How much is that in inches? Thirty-six, 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 twenty-two, Papa. I got my accountant over there sitting in his chair. But now I have been working on this for a long time time is just like slow stitching piece after piece after piece and um right in there that's purple threads in there that's why that one doesn't show up so much how many inches do i have Papa? What'd you say, 36 36 36 36 22 do you see how that's looking? All them patches in there? Wait a minute, it's all going crooked. So, like here. Yeah. 22. 130 inches. 36 and 36 is 72, 82, 92, 102, 93, 93, 93, 93, 93, 93, 93, 93, 93, 93, he got on his computer calculator. Okay, but see here is one end of it. And this just keeps going and going. I'm going to make a scroll. This is going to be like a scroll. So I'm going to have, 
sticks on either end of sorts that's going to um, roll up on each side. But see, and as you see, it looks kind of boring right now because it's only just, see now it's rolling crooked because I'm just so a crooked woman. But um, see, you can see, dang it. Oh, right here, I've got a doily on there, right there. And see, here it goes to, it's 120 inch or 30 inches long or something like that. And 11 inches this way, from top to bottom. I didn't get that really done very straight. And then there's, that's the other end. Well, goodness sakes, knows. I'm going to just fold it. So, I have plans. I have plans for this. I'm going to see on this back side. I just had torn a whole long strip of fabric. I had this like grayish flowery fabric and I've had it around for like very many years. How old am I? Seven, I'm almost 73. So I've had it for like almost 73 years. Probably old when I got it. But anyway. Um, just keep folding it. Maybe I should, instead of doing a round roll scroll, maybe I should have some kind of a fold scroll. Oh, I might do that too. I don't know. I'm gonna, I, I'll have to play around with that and think and decide. Decide and think of what I'm going to do. See, this is really long. It's as long as a rope. And so, but, I, and I've been working on this for a while, just to get, and it's all hand stitched so far, just with a running stitch or a boro stitch or a, you know, whatever you want to call that stitch. There's the same kind of a stitch called a whole bunch of different stuff. And, uh huh. See? Yeah, I might. There you go. But anyhow, these are my plants. For one thing, I have some doilies. And I think as I go along, I want to put some doilies on here of different sizes, different shapes, different in different places along the whole thing. But on these doilies then, I want to have little pops of fun, like, so if it's just doilies, then um, it's not as fun as if you have like a little, like this little piece. I got a lot of different fabrics that have different little images in them. And so I wouldn't put two animals together. I got some fabrics that um, have like little sayings or verses or something on them too. And um, I have to dig them all out. And I got, I have some that are a little bit bigger like this. And see, and I might even like take something like this and iron it. I don't know, see? I didn't know exactly what I was going to do with the whole thing, but it's all, it's all that one part is done. So, hang on a minute. I'm going to get my... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this over here for a minute because I need to, I need to press... Okay, this is this is an unlearning video. You're not learning a flipping thing on here. You're just seeing. See, I've had some of my dear friends, my virtual friends, my real friends, my subscriber friends, friends. I got a lot of friends, and um, they've been saying, "Why have you not made a video?" Well, it's because I'm busy. What am I busy doing? Nothing. I've 
been busy doing nothing. And so, in, so because of I'm busy, been busy doing nothing, I've got nothing done. Well, I have got some things done because I'm trying to organize. If any of you know anything about organization, uh-huh, I'm trying. But anyway, now, see, I've got quite a few. I picked through some of my stuff here, and I have got quite a few. Um, well, I took this, plugged it in, and ended it, and turned the darn thing on. It ain't going to work if you don't turn the darn thing on. Papa saying, duh. Okay, so anyway, I will press all of these things before I actually put them, put them on. Yes. Is there, is there a dish towel in the dish towel drawer that's like a, a solid color? Would you wobble over there and look for me? Because you do anything in the world for me, you already said that. I asked you to rob a bank, you won't do it, so you weren't telling the truth. But, oh, you can't run away to get from the cops? Oh, okay. Okay. One day, as I, I keep saying, you know, look in the dish towel drawer, honey. That's that drawer right there by the refrigerator. Dish towel. Yeah, yeah. And is there a, like a solid color that's a little darker? Yeah, let me have that one. That's good. It's all faded and bleached, but hey, it's not even a dish towel. But anyway, let me have that one. Thank you, sweet child. I want to put it over my ironing board thing, my ironing board. This here was a beautiful towel at one time, a little Christmassy, Martha Stewarty. But looks like we've bleached it. Okay, let's see. Maybe it's better on this side. Okay. There, that's better. Then you can't see the stained up old thingy. There, now you can see what I'm ironing. So I'm gonna iron these. So they're nice. There you go. Now my iron's hot enough. So, so then I'm just going to iron them and see. I'm going to go ahead and iron them while I'm at. Papa said, why don't you go ahead and iron them. So, look at them little sheeps, how cute they are. And, um, then this is a small one. That's pretty. This is a Battenberg. That's pretty. That one really didn't need iron, but I don't want to not iron it. And then here's another one of the little ones. But see, now I'm going to be using these all the way through. This one's kind of heavy. So I don't know if I'll use this one. But I picked it out because it's a little out of my stash because it's like the size. And I do think that this would be pretty um, if it hangs from like the top and then goes down like this. And even if it is heavy. Then I found this piece of lace. And that's pretty too. And so that, and I got 130 inches to play with, so I'm going to need a lot of different things. And then I have these ones, just as real little. I'm going to need some more real little ones. I, I think I about used up all my real little ones, but I'll dig through my stuff. I'll probably have more. This is some, this is something somebody took apart at one time and it looks like somebody um, did some dyeing process on that so that's a pretty like a pink and there's another two more of those and so these ones I may still be able to cut them 
across this way and then put them like along a bottom edge or a top edge like this so they could go like across the bottom or across the top and then that would be pretty chill and then I have Oh, and then this, oh, see, this is real pretty. I don't know, this here, it looks crocheted, but it's not hand crocheted. And somebody told me there's no way they can do something like this without hand crocheting it, because a machine can't do it. But I still think that there is a magical machine that can do these kind of things. So it's definitely not hand crocheted. It's pretty, though. And then this is a long piece of lace, which maybe I wouldn't use it all as one piece along, but I might. You never know. But it's pretty. But I, but I could use, like, parts of it like this. Some of it coming from the top, some coming from the bottom. And that is pretty. That doesn't need to be ironed. I'm afraid if I iron it, it'll melt some kind of polyester okay oh and then this one's so pretty this one here is like a batten bird and it is beautiful most all of these have been sent I I would say 99% of my beautiful things like this have been sent to me by subscribers which I just absolutely adore them and look how pretty this one is now this will be very pretty here and there you know, when they're, um, because the colors of the fabrics, see how the colors of the fabrics just show through? And they're so pretty. They're just beautiful. And so... So this, so we'll have that pressed. By the way, my iron is a, in case you're wondering, it's a Rowenta first class. Hmm. You betcha. First class Rowenta. It's really nice. I had a different, I had a different iron, but it, I burned it up, I think, because I um, left it on without turning it off. Yeah, I left it on a couple of nights like all night long and I think I just burned it up because it just quit working but it was bought for me by a super wonderful um, subscriber purchased it for me and I really appreciated it and then I let it go to hell in a hand basket by not um, by taking care of ow but okay. anyway um, I was just going to wipe that dust off right there um, and so I had to replace it and so I did but I and at the time, she said she was going to buy me one. I said, no, 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 don't get me one. I got a perfectly good iron, which my iron was a full-size iron. Well, after I got that small one, I loved it. And so, um, and she also bought me a woolen ironing mat. But I've made off of a TV tray, I used that woolen ironing mat and made like a little ironing board that sits right by my sewing machine at all times that I use for that. And then I've had this one like for like a hundred years. And so, but this one is just a nice little small size. Small sizes of everything is just beautiful. Okay, and then look at this. This is a cotton and it's like a doily. And it's got the, um, the little holes in it, whatever you call that. There's a name for that too that is escaping me. And that's pretty. Now, see, I, if I put this on there, I could maybe um, cut it in half so that it could hang from the top somewhere or go up from the bottom somewhere. And, um, and that would be pretty, too. Or I might just leave it like this and maybe put it on there diagonally somewhere. But I got so much room to play because it's 130 inches long. I don't think I'll get this done in my lifetime, but it will be something that I'll be working on 
for a lifetime. Now these are just pieces and pieces of Battenberg stitched to cotton. Almost like it's muslin. But see how pretty that is? That's beautiful. And so at it, because it's going to work like a scroll, you will never have the whole thing at one time dis on display. You will have, because it's going to roll up one way or roll the other way, and you'll, and if I have it laying like on the coffee table, you will be able to just unroll where you see like 12 inches of it. And then we get tired of looking at that, then just scroll it to another spot because it's a scroll. You know that old sea scrolls, you know? I'm like as old as an old sea scroll, but I can't believe I'm going to be 20. I'm going to be 23. <laughs> and my dreams. I was 23 once. It lasted for about a year. Next year, no. I'm going senile. Understand that. Next month, in October 23rd, just in case you want to send me a Lamborghini. Oh, don't send me a Lamborghini because I don't drive anymore. But anyway, um, on the 23rd of next month, I'm going to be 73 years old. There's not a whole lot of population that's older than me. Oh, oh that's right. Up is older than me because he's 77. 77 Sunset Strip. Wasn't there a show called that, Papa? Yeah. Now this one's kind of a heavy, um, a heavy doily too, and it's a little bit, um, a little bit um, ruffled on the edges, which the little bit of ruffle on the edges is nice. I would stitch that, putting this on, I would stitch it on the inside of the ruffle so that the ruffle can still be kind of a ruffle. Of course, it would be flattened out because it would be rolled up in that, in that scroll. Now, this here, look at how beautiful this is. Now, now somebody, if, if, if you know what this is, can you see how... Can you see how that is put together? To me, it's not crocheted. To me, it is almost woven. So if you know what this is, please put it in the description box so I can know because I don't have a clue. But it's very um, filigreed or very, very beautiful. But it almost looks... And it's all cotton. It feels like it's all cotton. And, but I don't know how they went about and got all these. It's like, it's like single threads, but tied, single threads, but tied at all the intersections where you see it going this way and this way. It's tied at all the intersections. So you all figure that one out for me because my old brain doesn't know. Fifty-eight to sixty-four. Seventy-seven Sunset Street. Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. I don't remember any of those names, those actors. I just watched a video. I'm telling you, I'm so upset with Robert Wagner. Now, I always thought Robert Wagner was just a little handsome little cutie pie. I don't even like him one bit no more. I don't like him at all. Not at all. Because I did not know the story about Natalie Wood's demise. And, man, after I watched that, it was a 48-hour thing, you know. From 48 hours Robert Wagner had something to do with her demise and he is still free as a bird I think he got away with murder look that up you guys 
Tell me if you think Robert Wagner got away with murder, that little turkey. Poor old, poor Natalie Wood. Beautiful, young, beautiful, very talented. Okay, well, we don't want to talk about that right now. Robert Wagner? He's an ass clown. I don't like him at all no more. But see, this is very pretty. And that is going to be pretty is um, open as the weave is because, see, the colors of the, um, the patchwork underneath it then shows through. And then if I are, if, if I are to add, where did my little sheeps go? If I were to add on it, like little sheeps here and there, or little whatever I put there, because I've got other fabrics with just little images like this. I love them, fabrics with little images. So I'm going to have to search it, Etsy to and see if I can find. But that's pretty. And then I have this. This one here is just, now that one's a little bit, a little roughly, but not bad. I might be able to, stretch it, um, wet it and stretch it and what do you call that? You, there's something you call that when you wet it and stretch it and pin it down and let it dry flat. There's a word for that too, but some words only stay with you for like a few years and then they, then they get filed away. Okay, that's all I had pulled out. And then I have this here, now what I was thinking about with this here, this is a cotton, almost like a, um, this was sent to me too, and I just love it, and where did I put my pin cushion? Oh, there it is, I gotta put these pins on my pin cushion. Raymond made me that pin cushion, I love it. Okay, so, this might be enough lace, I was thinking. It's all cotton, and the header on it is really nice. So this was a, a very, this was a very nice um, lace. But I, what I was thinking about with this, if it's enough on here, well, let me see how much is on here. It's a lot. Well, maybe this is from, my daughter-in-law brought me a bunch of lace that she had donated to her and she brought it to me. That might have been where this came from. I don't really know. Look at that cardboard that it's on. Ooh la la, ooh la la. Okay, now I just want to measure and see how long this is. Because God, Sort of an idea. Sort of. I got sort of an idea. And I'm wondering, because I need three and a half yards, or three yards plus 22 inches. Oh, yeah, there's enough here, because there's four, there's five. This is like six yards. Okay, so if, If I were to take this and I put one of my little piggies this way, so I always got to remember that this is the top and this is the bottom, so my piggy won't be upside down. So I'm thinking that maybe I would take and stitch, oh, well, this is the wrong side. This is the right side, but hey, who's, who's even counting? Um, and if I take this and stitch it right across the top along the whole thing to where it hangs down, because that would go right along the whole top. Or would I maybe want to put it across the top this way so then it pokes up? I might want to do that. 
and do the whole thing. It's like things are always better when you hook up. Things are better what? Always better when you hook up. Things are better when they poke up. I'll take your word for it. Okay, Papa says they're better when they poke up. But then if it goes down here, it would poke down. Now, how much of this did I have? Let me measure this again. I wonder if there would be enough to go. There's pretty much of this. Let me measure again. Okay. Now, let me measure. That's 36 inches. And then this is 36 inches. And then this is 36. So, no, that would only be enough. That wouldn't be enough to do the whole thing top and bottom. But, so what if I put, I could find, maybe I have something else <clears throat> that I could put across. Now, this I would sew on with the machine. But I do believe I like this with the pokey up. And then um, I like that with the pokey up. And then if I just stitch that whole thing on with a zigzag stitch, then when it's rolled up, this would fluff together so pretty. That would be so pretty. And so now when you look at all this lace and doily stuff, you kind of almost think about, um, you almost, oh, if I had a fringe to go at the bottom. But it almost is like it would be like shabby chic. But I'm not into that shabby chic stuff. I'm into scrapping. My name's Scrapping Lizzie, and I use scraps. And, but it would be almost where a shabby chic and scrap and boho collide and just collide like the mar the marriage between shabby chic and boho. I think it would be awesome. What do you all think about that? That's all I got in this. This is. This is just all my, and I'll keep y'all updated, you know, because I always do that. We, although I hadn't updated this to you in a hundred years, because it's how long it took me to just get this. I just finished this here spot this morning. This, this little pea getting this last bit on the end, and it was so exciting to do that, to get that very last piece done. I I started out thinking that all my stitch lines were going to be just all horizontal like this, all of them across. But as you see, they're not. They're round in places because I can't sew a straight line. And so then I said, well, what the heck? Let's pretend like I didn't even plan to sew a straight line. Okay, but the main thing is if you all know what this is, wouldn't that be pretty on a journal cover? Because that's about the size of a journal right there. Or a needle book. I don't really do the journal covers so much, but the needle books. I want to show you one if, if I have it right here. Yeah, I have it right here. These are two covers that I've made. And all they are is a cover. But you know what I made? This is that um, locker hooking. So... This is the inside, outside, and this is the inside. And so I was thinking about how you could just put your pages in here, and, and I'm thinking of needle books, of course, always. But, um, but do you know what I'm going to do? Okay. I We've put up, I think anyway, I think Ray has seen, how pretty that is, how fluffy and soft. I did that with the needle hooking, I mean the locker hooking. Okay, if, I think that um, Ray has already put up the challenge for this month coming up on the Liz, Scrap and Lizzie Unicorn 
Facebook site, which is um, there's five or there's six there's six um, choices of what you can use in your challenge piece and take a picture of it, put it up, and um, and we said that the the prize will be a surprise, a surprise prize. I think I'm going to send one of these covers. Maybe I can put a page inside there to be a needle page, a book. But I have that one. And then I have this one. This one's softer. This one I tried crocheting the edge. But that one's pretty too. All the colors. And the more, because I use that awesome like eyelash yarn mixed with another yarn, the more you like scratch at it and stuff, the more fuzzies you get. But I think I'm gonna let one of these go as the prize, because I, I like to send out a nice prize. Last month, what I call a nice prize anyway, I don't just want to send you off one tag or something and call it a prize, I want to send off something prettier. And so, and like this past month for August, we had only five people that even, um, we had only five people that even entered the challenge. And so this month, and I don't have it mailed off yet either. I gotta get this mailed off hopefully tomorrow. But um, Barbara Batzer was the one that won this month's challenge. And her prize was this, which is something that I made years ago, actually. But I took a box. It was from my, um, a box from my Instant Ink box. And it opens up so fun. And I opened it up like this. And I made a diorama. So it sits like this. And then from the from the ceiling, I have a couple of little disco balls here, and then I have these guys just stay in here temporarily, but then there's a unicorn with a little fairy riding on the unicorn, there's flowers, and there's a little frog, and, and then there's a little personal, personal um, journals that were written by this little fairy and her, and her thing. And then, oops, my my unicorn broke in half, got beheaded. But see, those aren't glued in because they live up here, actually. Bob, I'm going to get this mailed off to you. Don't think I've forgotten because I don't forget. I'm just slow as molasses in January. But that was the prize. I usually like to send off, I try to send off a nice prize, something that I would say, Oh, that would be nice. I like that. Okay, well, now I can't get it closed. Just a minute to see then this. Just folds. See, I decorated the whole flipping thing. So when it's open, it's just beautiful. And there you go. And then that goes in there. I got to mail that off. I'll put that right there and get that in a package today. Oh, Barbara Batzer. That's her name, so I don't forget. Put that right in there. She's the winner. And so... Yeah, so this month for September, if you just look, if you look at the, um, it'll be on a pinned post, the challenge, and you got to make something using five of those six items, and then you post it. It doesn't matter if it's, what it is, doesn't matter what it is. I remember there's a cork and there's a ribbon, and I want to, I want to do the challenge too, because maybe I'll win. Why would I want to win? Well, my own junk. But anyhow, um, so if you all want to try it, you know, then then you should. And um, Priscilla here, she's my good luck charm, Priscilla. Do you ever see Priscilla? I call her Priscilla because my dad had a pig, and he loved his pig, and he named her Priscilla. And so in memory of my dad, now she don't look like no pig. But I love her as much as my dad loved his pig. And so I call her Priscilla. But you know what? Um, my friend, 
my friend um, Carmen made this, and she sent that to me. But look how she's just holding on to her little unicorn, just hugging her unicorn, just like for dear life because she loves him. Look how pretty her dress is. I just love this. Okay, Priscilla. That's all we have for today, you guys. Oh, wait. I have to read something to you. Just a minute. Where did I put my box? Wait a minute now. My organizational skills need a little honing up on. Oh, here's my box. Wait a minute. I'll move my drink over here so I can reach my box. Here's my box, Postcards from Spirit. And now we're always wondering what our ancestors from above, up there on Cloud9, have to say to us. And today they sent us this here postcard. So let's check this out. And, um, okay, are you listening, Priscilla? Okay. Dearest you, on Earth, humans learn about life by telling stories and creating new ones based on shared experiences. Eventually, after repeating one often enough, it becomes your main story that you use to define yourself and the world. So to get the answers you seek, you must get vulnerable and hear your story when you tell it. Ask, why do you tell it? Is it really true? What else can be true? Can you see the truth? that spirit is in all things? Do you see how other stories overlap and intertwine? Spirit loves stories, for they are like blueprints for co-creation. They are like blueprints for co-creation. So tell the one we know to be true about a story of your courage, your gratitude, and your honesty. Tell an empowered story about well-being, wisdom, and grace. You will experience your world according to the story you tell about it. And so make sure there are stories you are proud of. Genuine loving fan club is what it's signed by. And you know what? Just as I was reading that, I was thinking about, like I called my little girl Priscilla and how much she loves her unicorn. And then I think about the story of my dad and his little pig, pig uh, Priscilla. And I have a picture of my dad just grinning like a jackass eating briars and holding on to his Priscilla. And he's wearing his bib overhauls in there and he's holding his pig and he ain't got no teeth. Now just imagine that picture in your mind. I'll find it one day and show it to you. Because that's my dad. And you know what he taught me there? He was teaching me love. Love how he loved his little pig Priscilla. And he did love Priscilla. Okay. I just got to watch over every one of you. Every step you take. Every move you make. Keep you safe and secure. Keep you happy and healthy. Keep you all that good stuff. Like um, humble. Please stay humble. It's hard to get unhumble because I think I'm just humble. And when I try to get all like unhumble and be like fancy people, it just fail. I fail at it every time. So I have to stay humble and simple. That's just me. I'm just a simple, humble, country, redneck, hillbilly, all of those things. If I got all fancy, I don't know. Well, his purple hair makes me. Okay, God bless and keep you all, and I will see you safely and beautifully on the next video. And I am going to get busy on this thing, but I do believe one thing for sure is that I'm going to stitch this on the sewing machine. I'm going to stitch this lace at the top so it's sticky-outy, so then when you roll it up, it's sticky-outy. And it'll look like a big old roll. Okay, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I love you. I love you very much. And, and that, that piece. Now, if you can tell me what this is, I need to know. Okay. God bless you. Bye-bye. Where's the thing? Oh, there's the thing. Wait a minute. I get the thing.